Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, well, I haven't done an Arduino video for a while, so I thought we'd do something simple today, get back into it, kind of. And uh, what I've got here, you'll probably remember from our last Slow Boat from China episode. If we zoom in here, this is the AD9960. And this little guy right up here, that's the chip inside that plastic uh, housing, and there's an infrared LED. This is a gesture sensor. This is one of those devices that can tell not only proximity, but the direction in which you've moved, whether you've moved you know, left to right, right to left, up, down, whatever. And it's pretty simple to connect here. If we take a look... We're going to start from right to left here. We have an interrupt pin, SCL and SDA, so we're I squared C. We have VCC and ground. Now, keep this in mind. This is a 3.3 volt device only. It will not work with your Mega, your Uno, or your Nano. you got to use it with a 3.3 volt device, which is why I'm using it with a Wemos D1. These jumpers up here do some different things, and as long as they're connected, you don't have to worry about this pin on the end. So I've got my 3.3 uh, volt and ground connected there. I've got SDA and SCL connected up here. And I've got my interrupt connected to D3. And what's important to keep in mind is all pins on the Wemos D1 are interrupt, which makes it really nice as opposed to working with an R3 that only has, what, three separate interrupt pins, uh, an Uno R3 I'm talking about. So, that being said, all we have to do is download the library, and there will be a link to it down below, and we're going to open up uh, one of the example programs, which is the gesture test program. Pretty cool, pretty easy to run, and it should be able to read different gestures, whether you're, well... Oh, geez. My ground not connected very well. Okay, I'm going to turn this up on end. Hold on a second. Let me adjust the camera so you get a better idea. So it says a near gesture, bring your hand within two inches and move it away. Far gesture, same thing, move it away. We can do left, right, up, down. All that kind of fun goodness. Now we've just got it hooked up here to a serial console to show us what it's actually reading. But, you can easily take this example program and make it do whatever you want. Um, well, we'll talk about that when we get over to the programming. Let's go look at it now, okay? okay? Great. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the code here. It's relatively simple. And again, this is just a, an example program that I've made a couple changes to. So, you can get it from the library. And as you can see, it's called gesturetest.ino now here it has all of the connections you're going to need we already went over that but it's on here just in case you need it and it's telling you that it's going to use the wire library and the spark fun APDS-9960 library now the one change that I made here well one of the changes I've made here is it was going to define uh, APDS9960 interrupt as D2. I can't use D2 because the uh, Wemos D1 is already using that pin. So I just put it on D3. Keep in mind if you're using uh, an 8266, all the pins are interrupt capable. So no problem. Then we have a global variable here. And we'll have our interrupt pin, pin mode. That's that APDS9960 underscore interrupt, which we set right up here. But um, set as an input. Then we're going to do our serial begin at 9600 baud. And then just a couple messages. We will attach an interrupt on a falling edge and begin the initialization procedure. Really simple stuff. Okay, so once that's nice and up and running, then we begin our main loop of the program. And we say, if this flag 
is set, if it's a 1, then we'll detach the interrupt so we're not reading anything right now. And then we'll do the handle gesture. And that's down here. That's this uh, function right here, handle gesture. And what it's going to do, we're going to come in here and say, if APDS is gesture available, that means, did you do something? Then we'll do a switch case on the read gesture. And then we have up, down, left, and right, near, far, and basically nothing. And when that's done, we just reset the flag, and it goes back. Pretty simple, right? Okay, let's power it up. That goes in there. That way, right? Yep. Okay. So now you can see we have our uh, comm screen up and we can see what's going on. So if I move my hand over the sensor like such and move it away. We should get a reading. And we're not. Let's reset it. There we go. Okay, okay, so we're getting a left. Can we get a right? That says that's a down, okay. None. Left left near none <laughs> it seems to be like in the none down down none left okay so we got down and we got left so let's make a little change to our program all right let's come in here and make it actually do something. What we'll do here is we'll set another pin mode. We'll do D5. And make it an output. And then we can come down here and we'll say for left, we'll do a uh, digital right. Whoops. D5. Make it high. And then for down, we'll do a digital right. D5. And we'll make it low. Now that should allow us to turn something on and off. So we got our code. Now all we need is a little bit of hardware, right? So the universal thing to turn on and off with an Arduino is an LED. So there's a little blue LED. And of course we need a resistor, like so. And then we will put that LED into pin D5 and I will upload the code and we'll have a look. Okay, the code is uploaded and let's try it out. So left should be on, right? Kind of actually worked there a little bit. That's frightening. And down should be off. Let me just make sure you can see the 
thing as I move my hand. I like it. So it kind of actually works. That's good. Always surprising when something works the first time. But now you got the basic idea of how the gesture sensor works. And you can use it to turn on or off multiple things or do different um, selections with one item. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think down below. So that's about it for today. If you guys like this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.